we're not in Asia. But like I said before, when I started, when COVID hit, I thought my country was to be was going to be doomed. I was wrong. But what happened? What happened? TCA, traditional Caribbean medicine. I would say, let's just say, plant-based medicine. We got some of them here. Unfortunately, they're not that beautiful, but I try my best to pull them just to show you that we can do the same. We have blue vervain. We have eucalyptus. I love this one, Cersei. And this one is big, neat. Also, calentro pinata and lycorice. For my study, I find out lycorice is the number one medication in all the Chinese herbal medicine. That's the top one. They also use this one also in the Caribbean. Let's start with the first one. Let's start with me. The scientific name is uh, as a director indica, or let's just call it name. It's a big plant, okay? Um, it's beautiful. In my language, it says vapor. Thank you. It's not vapor that we, we use that most. Good. Compound in name extract, whether it's decoction, whether it's tea, is anti-inflammatory, anti-hyperglycemic, bring the sugar down, prevent the cytokine storm, immune modulator, and antioxidant. Antiviral effect of neem extract include inhibitory action against COVID-19. That's in vitro studies. That was done in Canada and that's the reason why I have to say, when COVID hit us, Canada, which is, I would say, colder than we are here, they were doing just fine because they incorporated herbal medicine in the treatment, which we refuse to for whatever reason. We will go further in that, but I have to be politically correct, not to uh, go too far. So, this picture is. Beautiful. So this plant extract, what it does, it inhibits the potency against the pepin like prote uh, protease, uh, the PL4 of SARS CoV 2, what we call the molecular dunking. So what it does, when you take this plant, the compound. The chemical compound bind with the enzyme of COVID, the enzyme the COVID use to replicate itself inside the T cells. It binds to it and change the nature of it. When it change the nature of it, so the COVID come into the body, but it can't multiply itself. It can't replicate itself. Isn't that the you know? Another plant, Cersei. I was uh, I was watching a blog, and someone in Florida, that was a woman, and she she said, "Whoa, we have this, this plant that grow in my backyard." And someone said, "Wow, this thing is poisonous. We have to get rid of it. You have to call uh, the I think the uh, the environmental something to come and get rid of them because make sure you don't touch this plant. Make sure you don't let, let this plant touch your kids." And I had to intervene and I had to explain to them what this plant is. And I was happy. I was able to help someone understanding something that I would say like some misinformation. So acid decoction contains what we call phenol. Phenol, okay. The phenol content has a, a high percentage of gallic acid. Okay. 
powerful antioxidant and also anti-inflammatory. Also, this plant has we, we call uh, catechins. The formula, the chemical formula is C15 H14O6. That's the flavonoid. I'm so sorry, I had a handout and I forget to bring it, to give it to you. I'm so sorry for that. I left it upstairs and I forget to give it my bag. But what they found in uh, Vivo study, in Vivo study, this plant is vasoprotective, has vasoprotective abilities. So this means that if you take the extract of uh, sterosy, decoction or tea, it protects the vascular system. Like the blood pressure will be normalized. You won't have the big thing what causing the most problem in COVID is the D-dimer. These control D-dimers. The shooting up is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And that's why when COVID hit, I saw country in the Caribbean, everybody was on the street like everything was okay. Why? Because those plants, they use them every day. Every morning they drink them as tea. I could show this one, everybody knows lemongrass. We have some of them here. I tried to pour them, unfortunately, uh, the weather is not that great. That was inside the house. I couldn't get uh, a better result, I'm sorry. So lemongrass, where it worked, specifically in the GI system, okay? Lemongrass contains tannins, flavonoids, and phenols, okay? Like I said, it works on the GI system. It uh, protects the microbiota, the, uh, the normal flora, for when COVID hit, so the good bacteria can stay alive. And the bad one, they don't just start spreading. As we see all with most of the COVID patients, uh, Lisa can tell us, in no time, most of our sick patients as well, they're just going to diarrhea right away because the microbiota is no longer present. The bad bacteria should not run and take to cover. We also have uh, one plant they're using Asia, uh, Egypt, Greece. During COVID, they use this one a lot. It's uh, what we call the Uh The scientific name is Lysi Riza Glove. This plant is very powerful. What it does. It's quite interesting. The enzyme, the chemical compound this plant has in it, when you take it, if you look at looking at this picture here, what do we see? We have the virus, as, as I said earlier, to enter the body, they use the ACE2 in it, uh, and, uh, ACE2, uh, channels to come inside the cell wall. This one is the epithelial cell wall, most likely the lungs, the GI system. When it enters the body, so what happens? We have inflammation. But without GA, which is the enzyme of uh, the chlorides, okay? Cortisol without GA can penetrate. We know cortisol is a steroid produced by how adrenaline gland, okay? But this one play a major factor in what we call lactic acid because when it goes too much in the, uh, in the cells, what it does, the, in the uh, uh, mitochondria inside the cell wall, we have like ATP, ATP, uh, adenosine triphosphate, keep happening nonstop. This means the cell is working non-stop. This gives us what? This gives us lactic acid. 
But with uh, this product here, it blocked the ACE2. So COVID can penetrate, but that, not that many. So we have less inflammation, okay? And the docking is not really happening. So this plant was right there in the nature. Everything was right there in nature, but we were standing here, ignoring them, unfortunately. 